I would just like the court to take into consideration the agony caused to my son David by his father. David's life will be changed drastically. He will never be a normal child again. David will suffer scars for the rest of his life, both mental and physical. He will not have full use of his hands. David fears every night before he goes to bed that his father will come and try to kill him again. <clears throat> the doctors and the nurses at the hospital have to constantly assure David that his father will never be able to come near him again, to do this to him again, ever. I feel Charles should get the maximum sentence without parole. Because David deserves peace in his life. Before I pass sentence, Mr. Rothenberg, is there anything you'd like to say? Sit down, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Um, this is uh, going to be hard for me. I, I would like to say something briefly to Marie and John. know what I'm going through and will continue to go through in my life. I know what you two guys are going to be going through and what you're going to have to be going through for the rest of your lives. I'd like to now ask your forgiveness, Marie and John, as I now forgive you both. I'd like you to take care of my beloved son, David. That's all. Charles Rothenberg, please rise before the court. I feel it necessary to say that in all the time I've sat on this bench, I have never seen so hideous a crime nor so innocent a victim. If it were up to me, I would sentence you for life and throw away the key. But I can't. Because you plead guilty, not even by reason of insanity, the maximum sentence I can give you is 13 years. The only consolation I have is that you will live with this for the rest of your life. And that's the most horrible sentence of all. The knowledge of what you have done to your son. This court is in recess. Let's get out of here. 